Good day, children. Now we are in fourth quarter of English grade 3. Today, we will learn about adjectives. Are you ready? Let us start. Did you still remember what is adjective? Adjectives are words that describe persons, places, things, animals, and events. They tell something about a noun. Adjectives have three degrees of comparison. These are positive, comparative, and superlative degrees. The positive degree signifies quality. It talks about only one thing, and it is not being compared with another. While the comparative degree signifies quality in greater or less degree, two things are being compared. While superlative degree signifies quality in the greatest or least degree, three or more items are being compared. In this lesson, you are expected to use degrees of adjective in making comparisons. Let us read the conversation of Billy and Jen. Let us start to read the conversation of Billy and Jenny. Billy said, Jenny, look at this bed. It is big. Jenny said, Yes, Billy, it is big. Now, look at this plant. It is bigger than your plant. Billy said, Oh, I agree with you. Take a look at the plant in the rectangular path. Jenny said, that plant is the biggest among the three. Answer the following questions. The first question is, who are talking in the conversation? The answer is, Billy and Jenny. For number two questions, what are being compared in the conversation? The answer is, sizes of plants. And for number three, which plant is big? The answer is Billy's plant. And for number four, what did Jen say about the plant in the round pot? She said, her plant is bigger than Billy's plant. And for the last questions, how did Jen describe the plant in the rectangular pot? She describes the plant by their sizes. She said plant in the rectangular pot is the biggest among the three. For learning task number one, write the comparative and superlative degree of each adjective below. Write your answers in your notebook. The given adjective is big. Let us compare the first picture to the second picture. The answer is bigger. The soccer ball is bigger than Sepatakrao ball. And the third picture is the biggest among the three. Let us study the second example. The first picture is apple. The taste of the apple is sweet. The given adjective is sweet. Let us compare the first picture to the second picture. Apple pie is sweeter than the apple. And the apple jam is the sweetest among the three. Let us study the third example. The first example, the adjective is thick. 
let us compare the first picture to the second picture. The second picture is thicker than the first picture. And the third picture is the thickest tire among the three. Let us study the forming comparison of the adjectives. For one syllable adjective, for comparative degree, you need to add ER to the positive degree. Here are the examples. The first example is weak. From the word weak to weaker. And the second example is near. From the word near to nearer. For superlative degree, you need to add EST to the positive degree. For example, the first example word is weak. We need to add EST from the word weak to weakest. And the second example from the word near, we need to add EST. So the superlative degree is nearest. And for the adjective ending in Y, for the comparative degree, we need to change Y to I, then add ER to the positive degree. Here are the examples. The first example is 30. We need to eliminate or drop the Y, then add IER. So, from the word dirty to dirtier. And the second example is pretty. We need to eliminate or drop the letter Y, then change to I, then add ER. From the word pretty to prettier. And for superlative degree, we need to change Y to I, then add EST. Here are the example. From the word dirty, we need to eliminate or drop the Y, change to I, then add EST. The form word is dirtiest. And the second example is pretty. Drop Y, then change to I, then add EST. And the form word is prettiest. For the adjective ending in E, if you want to change to comparative degree, you need to add R to the positive degree. For example, the word safe. The last letter for this word is E. So we need to add letter R for comparative degree. From the word safe to safer. And the second example is large. The last letter of this word is letter E. For comparative degree, we need to add letter R. So from the word large to larger. And for this example words, to make it superlative degree, we need to add S. For example, the first word is safe. We need to add ST. From the word safe, add ST. Then the fourth word is safest. And from the word large, we need to add ST. The fourth word is largest. For multi-syllable adjective or more adjective ending in full or less, for comparative degree, we're going to add more or less to the positive degree. For example, the example word is afraid. For comparative degree, we need to add word more. Example, more afraid or the word less less afraid and for the second example is silent 
for comparative degree, more silent or less silent. For the word talented, more talented or less talented. To form superlative degree, we need to add word most or least to the positive degree. For example, afraid, most afraid, and least or least afraid. For the silent, most silent or least silent. And for the word talented, most talented or least talented. Some adjectives are irregularly compared. Let us study. The first example for a positive degree is good. For the word good for positive degree to change comparative degree, it is better. For superlative degree, it is best. And the second example is bad. For positive degree, for comparative degree, worse, and for superlative degree, worse. Here are the third example. Positive degree, word is ill. For comparative degree, worse, and for superlative degree, worse. And the fourth example, many, comparative degree, more. For superlative degree, most. Another example for positive degree, much, comparative degree of much, more, and superlative degree of much is most. Another example, little. The comparative degree of the word little is less, and superlative degree for the word little is least. And another example is less. The comparative degree of the word less is lesser, and the superlative degree for the word less is least. Okay, children. Please remember what you have learned today. Some one-syllable adjective with a single vowel before the consonant form their comparative and superlative degree by doubling the last letter before adding ER for the comparative and the ES for the superlative degree. Examples Mad, madder, maddest. Big, bigger, biggest. Sad, sadder, saddest. Fat, fatter, fattest. The word that is often used with comparative adjective. Example. My jacket is thicker than your jacket. The word the before an adjective signifies superlative degree. Example, she is the cutest among the three. For the learning task number two, choose the correct form the adjective for each sentence. Write your answer in your notebook. The first number is, this milkshake is sweet, sweeter, or sweetest. The answer is, sweet. And for number two, Tarsher remains the small, smaller, smallest primate in the Philippines. I know you can answer these numbers and the other given number. And for number three, my uncle is the rich, richer, richest man 
in our town? What's the answer? And for the number four, today's weather is cloudy, cloudier, cloudiest than yesterday. What's the answer? And for the last number, for the learning task number two, the sound of the chirping bird is pleasant, more pleasant, most pleasant than the sound of crickets. For the learning task number three, complete the story by supplying each plant with the correct form of the given adjective. Write your answer in your notebook. One sunny day, Galvez family went on a picnic near the river. Sammy the Blanc, among the three children of the Mr. and Mrs. Galvez, saw a flock of ducks along the river. Adi Lisa, look at the yellow duck. It is fat, Sunny said. Yes, Sunny, take a look at the black duck. It is black fat. Then, the yellow duck, Lisa said with excitement. As soon as the table is ready, they began eating their lunch that Mrs. Caldas prepared. Mother is the black, delicious adobo I have ever tasted. Harold exclaimed, the children swam in the river. The water from this river is blank, cold. Then the water from our faucet. Lisa said to her brothers, they enjoy swimming and playing the wool day. For the children, it was the blank, good day ever. And for the learning task number four, write sentences in the comparative and superlative degree of the underlined adjective. Write your answers in your notebook. Here are the given sentence with adjective word. The first number, number one, the lollipop that I bought is sweet. Adjective word is sweet. And the second number, the pillow is light. The adjective word is light. And for number three, my cousin is friendly. The adjective word is friendly. And for number four, that car is expensive. The adjective word is expensive. And for number five, our house is simple. The adjective word from this sentence is simple. We're going to construct another sentence for comparative and superlative. And for the last learning task in this lesson, complete the paragraph by selecting the appropriate answer from the given choices below. Write your answer in your notebook. Here are the choices word, degrees, comparative, describe, superlative, and positive. Let us read. Adjectives are words that black persons, places, things, animals, and events. In comparing adjectives, there are three blank of comparison. The blank degree states the quality of a noun and pertains only to one thing. Blank degree compares two nouns. It often uses the word than to compare two things. The blank degree compares three or more objects. It states the greatest or the least quality of a noun. Thank you children for watching and listening in this video. I know you have learned a lot. Please share your learnings to your classmates, friends, to your family or loved ones. Happy learnings! Goodbye! Thank you and God bless you. Please share and subscribe.